all right welcome back so let's get started with exercise number two by creating the geometry for that now the way i want to create this geometry is a little different from the first exercise now remember the first exercise what i've done is i started out with a line and then i created the rest from that line all the way around my part okay until i was done all the way around and remember we're only going to create half the part again we don't need to create the bottom half for lathe or any turning part uh, but this time, I don't want to do it that way. I want to create a bunch of vertical and horizontal lines. And there's a reason for that. It's because I really want to show you how to trim any edges, any extra edges that you have. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to follow all my dimensions, 0 through 1.375. And there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So that means I'm going to draw 8 lines standing up right here, 8 lines at each of those places. And I'm going to draw 1 line, 2 three and four so one two three and four lines across horizontally so eight vertical four horizontal lines and uh, they're going to be basically all of them the same height so they're going to be half an inch tall all eight of them and all of these will be 1.375 long uh, all four of these so that we're going to have basically a square with a bunch of lines across this way and that way okay and then what we'll do afterwards is we'll come in and we'll trim out all the edges that we don't need and everything else that we don't need to, to basically finalize ourselves with a final product or a final part that looks just like the one we have here. All right, so let's get started with that. So I'm going to minimize my drawing. Again, have that drawing in front of you, print it out, and follow along. So let's get started. I'm going to go to my line, and I'm going to start out by drawing one line from here to here that is half an inch long. All right. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to use um, a feature called Parallel Create Line Parallel, which allows you to create a parallel line on the left or right side or up and down. If it's a horizontal line or vertical line, it will be up and down. And this one will be left and right. So go ahead and click on Create Line Parallel. So what this allows you to do, it allow you to select a line and you're able to select the left side of that line or the right side of that line. Or if the line is uh, horizontal, you'll be able to select a top uh, edge or the bottom edge to um, create another line that's vertical to that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the left side over here and it will place a line on the left side of that line with that exact distance depending on where I clicked. But I can adjust that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to adjust that by the entire length of my part, which is 1.375. All right, so this is the length of my part. So my part is going to literally be inside this box right here. So I'm going to hit apply. I'm going to zoom in. So now I'm going to use this left line to create a whole bunch of lines on the right side of that until I um, basically get all the lines that are in here. So I need to draw another line that's a quarter of an inch away, 0.625 away, 0.75 away until I draw this second to last line because I already drawn this one. So right now I created one line here and one line here. So now I'm going to create a whole bunch of lines parallel to that on the right side of the first line. Now the reason I did that is because I created this one line all the way here because now it's easy for me to just follow the drawing. I know that everything is dimensioned from this first line. So now I can follow the drawing and dimension everything from that all the way to the right. So let me get started with that. Okay, so first line is going to be a quarter of an inch. So, so uh, select this line again, select anywhere on the right, Type in over here for the length of the line, 0.25, hit enter, you will see it update, but you want to make sure to hit apply so you can place that line there, okay? So next thing you want to do is select this line over here, and again, this line right here. The next one will be 0.625, so type in 0.625 over here, and hit enter, apply. Remember, we always have to select that first one because all of our dimensions are from that first one. So select this line. And again, you can select anywhere on the right. So if I can select that, but my next dimension is 0.75. So type in 0.75, hit enter, and you will see it update to that area. So hit apply. All right, the next one is gonna be 0.875. I always like to place it somewhere close in the vicinity so I, because I know it's gonna be close to that one. And hit apply. The next one's gonna be 1.875. 125, hit enter. The next one will be 1.275, hit enter. And then hit apply and okay. Now you should have eight lines. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And if you open up your drawing, 
you'll notice that one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight dimensions. And now I need to create four dimensions. Now the first one here and the second one on top are easy. So we'll create those two right now using lines. And then we'll also create the 0.25 and the 0.375 parallel from the zero location. So let's go ahead and create that. So first, just come over here and click on create line endpoint and just create a line from here to here, hit apply, and another one from the top to the top over here, hit apply, and then now hit okay to exit out. And now you wanna go back to the create line parallel and we'll create a, a parallel line from here to here that is 0.25, apply. Remember, just follow your drawing. And another one from here to here, that's gonna be 0.375, apply, and okay. And there you go, this concludes it. So what, I've, what we've done now is we, we created the drawing with all the edges that are here. Now we created that, I usually can do this in less than a minute, it creates it really fast for you. I just wanted to show you how to do this very easily and uh, taking my time to explain it as well. But right now what we're gonna do in the next exercise is we're gonna go around and we're gonna trim all the edges out that we don't need until we come up with that shape that we have over here. All right, so we'll show you how to use the trim feature in the next video and we'll clean up everything until we get this final part that you see right here. So we'll continue in the next video.